Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about 25 different ways that you can practice self-care in your daily life. Now, whether this means you want to have a self-care Saturday or you simply want to incorporate some of these items into your evening, these are all great ways to kind of take a break from your hectic and crazy schedule and embrace some of the concepts of slow living where you're able to really enjoy your time and maybe pamper yourself a little bit along the way. I'm super excited to get into this, but if we don't know each other yet, hi, my name is Ashlyn and I make videos twice a week on this channel about minimalism and intentional living. So if you haven't subscribed yet, consider hitting that red subscribe button right down below. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the first one, which is to bake yourself your favorite treat. There's something really tactile and relaxing about going through that process of creating and making something that you later get to enjoy. So I feel like baking cookies or your favorite treat of any kind is a fantastic way to practice a little bit of self-care. Number two is to buy a bouquet of flowers. And I love this idea because it's a fantastic treat for yourself. It's an opportunity for you to bring something beautiful and living into your home. And kind of like with baking cookies or a treat, it's a sensory experience. You get to experience the beauty of the flowers, the scent of the flowers, even the delicate touch of the petals. And so really just enjoy that experience and have fun bringing something pretty and beautiful into your home. Number three is to read a book and there's definitely something so calming and relaxing and cozy about snuggling up with a good book. They transport us to far off lands and places that we could never even imagine. And it's a fantastic way just to focus on giving yourself time to relax and recuperate. There's nothing that's more rejuvenating for me than being able to dive into a good book. So I highly recommend this as a great way to practice just caring for and loving yourself. Number four is to stretch and to do yoga. And I feel like we all know the benefits of stretching and doing yoga, but how many of us actually incorporate this into our lives on a regular basis? Whether you want to go to a class or simply try stretching on your own in a peaceful and relaxing environment, either of these options can be a fantastic way to be loving on yourself and caring for your body. Number five is to go for a walk. And I feel like so often we can get caught up in going from cube to cube to cube, from home to work to shop and back to home again that we never actually get outside and enjoy the outdoors and there are so many benefits of getting outside and going for our walk it's not just about the exercise it's really being able to calm down reduce your anxiety there are so many incredible benefits to really getting outside and enjoying nature and a walk is one of the best ways you can do that number six is to make a diy face mask and this is not only a fun experience but it's also a great way of caring for your skin there are a lot of different elements of this that are great for practicing self-care, whether that's doing something for yourself, caring for yourself and your skin and making it healthier or anything like that. But if you do this while watching a movie or a good TV show, it's also a really fun experience. So I highly recommend this particular tip. Kind of going along the lines of doing things that are healthy for us, number seven is to go to bed early. And I think we really do ourselves a disservice when we try to stay up into the wee hours of the morning, whether that's on our phones, watching too many movies or TV shows, or anything else like that. Getting a proper amount of sleep is huge and going to bed early is one of the best ways to do that. So find a bedtime for yourself that really suits you, your lifestyle, and your schedule, and try to stick to it. Going to bed early is one of the greatest ways to really easily improve your overall health, well-being, and happiness too. Number eight is to light a candle. And I've talked about the concept of huga before, and I think that this one is so cozy and inviting and warm, and especially on a rainy day or late night, when you light a candle, it really just brings warmth into the room and a little bit of a feeling of happiness. Now this one is best combined with some of the other self-care tips I'm sharing here, but I feel like I didn't want to leave this one out just because the act of lighting a candle alone immediately makes my evening or rainy day a bit more enjoyable. Next up is setting mood music. And I feel like we so often underestimate the power of music really to set the tone and vibe for the atmosphere that we want to create. So I highly recommend setting music, whether you're simply making dinner or having an evening of self-care, put on some relaxing and just rejuvenating music to really set the environment that you want to create. Number 10 is to paint your nails or to go get your nails done. 
I feel like it's really fun to be able to watch a good TV show while painting your nails, but if you prefer going to a nail salon as that experience, then definitely go ahead and do that instead. But I feel like it's something that's relaxing and fun, and it just gives you something a little bit prettier to look at in terms of your nails. Number 11, and you guys know how much I love to do this one, and it's to make tea. I feel like making a tea is a relaxing, soothing experience that when you're doing it, it really just allows you to enjoy the moment more. Try experimenting with some different teas if you're wanting to kind of have a new experience, but definitely sitting down, taking time to make a tea and really just taking time to sit down and reflect is a fantastic way to practice self-care. Number 12 is to change into soft, comfortable clothes. And when you're trying to relax and rejuvenate and practice self-care, there's nothing that's going to hinder you from practicing self-care more than wearing itchy or uncomfortable clothing. If you came home from work and you're wanting to practice self-care, one of the best first things you can do is to just change into comfortable clothing. Wear what makes you happy and what you're comfortable in. Change into that and that's a fantastic way to just get started with a little something that's going to make your evening or your day more enjoyable. Number 13 is to take a bubble bath. Taking a bubble bath is really a fun way to just practice a little bit of relaxation and it's a great time to just sit down, reflect, just figure out what's going to make the most fun experience of going for a bath for you, whether that's doing it with a tea and candles or you buy some rose petals and go all out with it. Figure out what's going to be fun, exciting, relaxing, caring for yourself and just go ahead and put that experience together in the form of a bath, a bubble bath, or whatever you want to create. Number 14, and this was a pretty simple one, I do it all the time, it's to wrap yourself up in a cozy blanket. I feel like being able to put on a blanket, no matter what time of year it is, really just makes the environment around you a lot more warm and inviting and cozy. And so if this is something that you happen to love, go for it. And I don't care if it's the middle of summer or the middle of winter, put on that blanket and just enjoy the experience. Number 15 is to journal. And this can be fun, but it can also be a really important and emotional process for us to go through. Being able to put our thoughts and our emotions, our feelings onto paper is really powerful as a way of being able to process our thoughts. And if this is something that you're interested in doing, I highly recommend trying out journaling as a part of your daily or weekly self-care practice because there are so many different benefits to journaling apart from the fact that it can sometimes be fun. It's a process that can really help you to grow as a person as well and I think that's huge. Number 16 is to wake up slowly and this one's really important to me personally because I feel like if I'm jolting up right out of bed the moment I get up I really have this like harsh awakening that makes me sleepier throughout the day. So instead, what I like to do is get up about half an hour earlier than I would necessarily have to and really just be able to focus on waking up slowly, listening to music or reading a book as I kind of slowly wake myself up. I feel like that I'm more alert throughout the day by doing that and I really enjoy that time in the morning really just to kind of wake myself up and just kind of mentally prepare for the day as well. Moving on, number 17 is to go for a massage. And once again, we're talking about relaxation, rejuvenation, self-care. This definitely ticks all of those boxes. This is a fantastic way just to really release toxins from your body and just enjoy the process of having kind of your back or whatever part of your body you get massaged worked on. And it's a really rejuvenating process for sure. And one that has a lot of health benefits in addition to self-care benefits. Number 18 is to breathe slowly and deeply. And I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but a lot of times we can actually be taking really short, shallow breaths, which never actually allow us to get in as much air as we should be. And so really take time and practice just throughout your day, whenever you feel like you need that little moment of kind of refocusing and recentering, just take a few short, you know, deep breaths. Breathe in, breathe out. Moving on to number 19, it's to watch your favorite TV show or movie. There's nothing more relaxing and really just enjoyable on an evening or a lazy Saturday than just sitting down with your favorite TV show or movie and getting lost in the story, in the characters, in either the humor or the drama of that show. 
it's a really fun experience and while I don't recommend getting caught up too much in binge watching, watching the occasional movie or TV show is a great way just to be able to rejuvenate and relax. Number 20 is to play with your pet. And pet therapy is a thing for a reason. The reason that colleges will bring puppies on campus during exams is because playing with dogs and cats and other animals really has a therapeutic effect on us. If we're experiencing high levels of stress or anxiety, one of the best things that we can do is play with our dog or cat and really just spend time interacting with another living being. So if you're finding yourself stressed out or anxious, definitely I hugely suggest this one. Not only is it fun, but it's a fantastic way to reduce your stress and anxiety levels. Number 29 is to take a nap. And I feel like naps are hugely underrated as a way of really just being able to recharge our bodies. So often, whether it's because we simply didn't get a good night's sleep or we stayed up too late the night before, we are just exhausted throughout the day because we didn't get enough sleep. And if this is where you find yourself, go ahead and take a nap. Being able to really focus on your health and well-being in that way is a great way to practice self-care. And just be honest with yourself. If you're tired and you need a nap, go for one. Number 22, and we're getting to the end here, it's to unfollow negative people on social media. And if there's someone on social media who's either bullying you or who's simply posting things that make you feel bad about yourself, or they're not inspiring you, or they're not just pushing you in a positive direction, I recommend unfollowing or unsubscribing from those people, those accounts. Social media is a tool and it can be useful and it can be inspirational and motivational, but that's what it's meant to be. And if you have people who you're following who aren't contributing to that life that you want to live, then I would recommend going ahead and unfollowing them. Number 23 is to meditate. And I feel like this is something that we all know we should incorporate into our lives, but we sometimes have a hard time actually doing it. I want to encourage you that there are so many health benefits to meditating on a daily or weekly basis. So if you're wanting to get into this more, there are fantastic resources like the Calm app or the Headspace app that can help you get started in your meditation journey or process. Okay, number 24, and you knew I had to include this in here somewhere, right? <laughs> it's to declutter five items from your life. By simply taking time to declutter five items from your space, it can really be a small practice that you do on a semi-regular basis that helps you to curate a more intentional space filled with the things that you love and that you use. Take time to just select a couple of items and declutter them. And I think that if you do this over a period of time, you'll be amazed at how intentional and useful and purposeful your space can be. And finally, number 25 is to write down five things that you are thankful for. And there have been so many studies that have shown the benefits of practicing gratitude on a regular basis. And I highly recommend that you start incorporating this into your life. There are so many different things to be thankful for. And by taking time to really reflect on and consciously be thankful for those items, it makes us much happier as people. And it makes it so that we can enjoy life a whole lot more. Well, guys, there you have it. Those are the 25 ways that you can practice self-care in your life. And I want to encourage you to figure out which of these inspire you the most and really try to be intentional about incorporating some of them into your life. I hope this list inspired you though to go ahead and practice self-care do something small for yourself today and let me know what you plan to do in the comments below. I'd love to hear how you want to practice self-care in your life today. So yeah, comment that below. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed already, be sure to hit that red subscribe button right down below. I've got more minimalism and intentional loving content coming right at you in the near future. And that's everything I have for you guys today. I love you guys all so much though. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope that you guys have a fantastic day today. Bye.